One day greetings, baseball way of lifers. How are you all doing? Hopefully well. Today I want to touch on one of the sites seems to be beloved players of all time, and that's Ichiro Suzuki. Uh, the last uh, six months or so, I've been running daily polls, comparing a position player against a position player, based and insight secrets based on one criteria, and then I change the criteria once I've gone through the whole cycle. And this time, I have a different criteria, which kind of measures all around ability in one's career. It's not war, I'll give you that, but it's darn close to it. And Ichiro, for the last eight weeks, has won that competition amongst a person, or I should say a player, that actually has a higher rating than himself. And the last four weeks, in today's poll, he's up against... Uh, who is he up against? Jesus Christ. Bobby Bonds, who statistically is, in the formula I'm using, better than each row for his career. And other players in the last few weeks that he's knocked off are Sammy Sosa, Bobby Abreu, uh, Vladimir Guerrero, J.D. Drew, and there were a few other quality players, too, that uh, each row knocked off with more votes. So I did a little in-depth studying on Ichiro, and he did compile a lot of great statistics over his career. Uh, the method I'm using isn't necessarily a compiling stat, uh, but still it measures overall ability. And once I run through the cycle, I'll announce what that stat I'm using is. Once we get through all this, because I don't want to tip my hand and have people look up and say, oh, I know who's going to win the next one just by looking at the statistics. Now, I like to have people's personal opinions come into play on this. So, I have mixed emotions about each I think he was one of the greatest players of all time. Was he one of the best? It's hard to say. I have a National League bias. I watch more National League ball than American League ball. I have an East Coast bias, so I have, actually I watch more East Coast games, and it's very hard for me to stay up late and watch a West Coast game. But he did play on sexy teams that each row did during his time, so Seattle was always worth a watch. If I was starting a franchise, would he be one of my first choices? Probably not. Would I love to have him on my team? Yes, I would. Uh, just a quick glance here. Uh, he was phenomenal in the fact that he was getting 700 bats every season all from like 2001 to 2011 over 700 plate appearances which is amazing so you knew he was going to play and he was going to give you a good effort uh he was also intentionally walked a lot he led the league american league in intentional walks three times 27 times in 2002 when he had a 321 batting average and a 388 on base percentage and uh 425 slugging percentage. The slugging percentage is what kind of deters me from ranking each row above a lot of players. Uh, I love the OPS plus and I love OBP period. And neither one was in favor for each row in my criteria for picking him as one of the best. Uh, it doesn't take anything away from what he did, uh, but he was amazing. And I just want to know, in the comments field, how you feel about it. Is each row really one of the best of all time? And I know there's a lot of stat-heavy fans out there in the group that kind of agree that there are certain players like Bobby Abreu and Bobby Bonds probably were better players statistically than each row. But each row is beloved, and he sort of has Pete Rose status where Pete may not have been the best player for your team, but people fell in love with him because of the fact he was always on base, always hustling, and they just loved his style of play, and I think the same could be said about each row. Uh, give me your thoughts in the comments field, and uh, so you don't miss any of these splendid videos that I provide for you on a daily basis, please subscribe to the channel, and you'll be updated as soon as one comes in. Thanks again, and have a great day.